Hey guys, what's up? Um, so, if you see, if you've watched any of my other videos, uh, you've probably seen that I've uh, been messing with these uh, CBs and these little micro ham radios. So, today is the day that I'm actually going to install them in my truck. And I just want to show you um, the different steps I take. But I guess I just want to show you to see how small these things are mounted. How you can get a ham radio and a, and a CB radio, like a micro radio. Sorry in the truck and you'll see how it, the little space it takes up so um, so this is actually the uh, QYT uh, quad band ham radio and this is the uh, micro CB radio by Anytone and my other video I, you saw how to take it apart and modify, modify the uh, radio to uh, make it go into it, normally it ships in 10 meter mode I had to modify it to go into 11 meter CB mode but uh, here's the mount that I have um, I'm, Still, I, I guess I needed a mount that I could fold down because the place I, I, I go to, like my, my gym is underground and I need to um, fold down the antenna so I can uh, get in the parking structure. And this is actually like a gutter mount antenna right here. I mean, I, I, once I actually install the radio, I'll see if I even like this thing and might uh, take it off. We'll see. But gutter mount antenna and uh, this, I got this little tram little uh, ham radio and uh, not sure what model number it is but and I also have a uh, this is actually designed for a 102 uh, inch whip CB antenna but this is actually like a tie down so I got that because I, I, didn't, I guess when this thing is folded down I mean look how this thing is very flimsy so I'm trying, sorry, I'm trying to get this back in the video yeah so this thing is very flimsy and I was thinking I probably would want to have this tie down on there so it wouldn't be whacking the car like when it's folded down sideways you know sideways the metal thing wouldn't be whipping against the metal roof so I was hoping this, this little tie down thing would uh, help that and that's actually designed to hook up to the, uh, the rain gutter so we'll see see how it goes but yeah that'd be cool I mean I'll have a ham radio and a CB radio in the uh, old Bronco so if you watch any of my other videos you've seen what it looks like but I'll show you again so this is my workbench I have a couple computer screens on here so, this is different than the other computer I have in the house. This is actually my workbench where I have a lot of com computer components and stuff. Alright, that's the Bronco right there, and you've seen that many times. So, alright, so I'll get started with this. But I'll show you, I guess I want to show you the mounting. Uh, I just hated how big that CB was, the uh, the DX19. I mean, it failed. I wouldn't have bought a new one if it wouldn't have failed, but like I said, you know, the fact that I had to buy a new one, I wanted this super micro one because really I never use a CB radio. So, I just want to have it there for emergencies and uh, when I'm on the trails. So, all right. One of the issues, I actually pulled my sticks up here, but one of my issues I was concerned about was my uh, transfer case sticks here. Um, this is, I did an AOD conversion on here. That's why the sticks are back further than your typical, like, uh, stock spot. But, yeah, these are the twin sticks. And so, I could put it right here. This is the ham radio, but I guess I wanted some clearance, so... I'm gonna put this right here, and I'm gonna put the little CB radio next to it, next to my flashlight. So they're gonna be back to back. Um, as you can see, how tiny that, that's a, that's a car stereo, or that's a car stereo. And then you can see how tiny this thing is. So, so I'm gonna have the ham and the, the uh, CB back to or side to side, but not in a way of this uh, stick here. So right next to it. And I should still be able to reach. If I'm, if I'm back here at the steering wheel, I should, should still be able to get up here and do that stuff. But the cool thing about these um, radios is that this one actually has, a, well, that's the CB antenna, but you can change the channels from uh, this top here. It um, doesn't have a, what's it called, a PA, but that's, that's a big deal. And that's the ham. And you can change, I can do like a lot of the functions on the actual radio antenna, so, or this, I mean, the mic thing here, but. All right, so I'll get those mounted, and uh, next step. Guys, back here, have my kid with me, and uh, and so yeah, I have installed. This is the CB radio, and that is the ham radio. And one of the nice things about the ham radio is that it also picks up GMRS, mirrors, FRS, marine band, weather channels, plus all the ham bands. I mean, this thing is a. Uh, Two meter, seventy centimeter, and it also transmits in like three hundred series and 
200 series, but I'm not sure what's in those frequency ranges. But so it is a quad band, and uh, so that's uh, pretty cool. I mean, look how small they are compared to the. Th that's the car stereo right there, obviously. And um, I mean, it's half the size of that, and it should get good clearance. I mean, it's as far as it's gonna go. I mean, I really ever in four wheel drive anyway, so it's. It should give you. I mean, I can always move it over, like tighten, loosen those screws up, and move it over just a little bit more. I have to, but that's pretty cool. And I gotta put a little mount here for the. You're gonna mount the extra extra mic here. I might put it here. Not sure where to put it. I guess I'll figure it out. But uh, all right, cool. It's getting a little crowded on my dash. I guess I can always move this up here. But I don't really want this to be in so much sunlight, or actually, you know, I don't know, I can, who knows, I'll figure that out. But, um, those are the two mics. It's getting a little crowd on my dashboard. I guess I still have access to that. Those are my, uh, my uh, LEDs I put on there. But, uh... No? Alright, cool. It's got the power hooked up. Um, do a quick power on test. I have the uh, CB antenna connected, but I don't have the ham radio antenna connected yet, so they're mounted. EU mode. And pretty cool radio. I guess they call it a smart CB, but I guess it has like auto scale, which is kind of cool. Let's see. Probably not. I don't get any CB signal down here, so. Actually, I should probably put that new five foot antenna I have on there. See if there's any difference. Volume's up too. And I know the CB works because I tested it, so let me try putting the bigger antenna on and see if I get something. Alright, well, I'll put the bigger antenna on, but I'm most likely not going to get, I mean, even with a big, I, I even had the 102 uh, inch whip in there, on there, and uh, didn't work with that either. But here's the uh, quad band. Uh, Yeah, like I said, I don't have the, uh, I already actually have the thing pre-programmed with like emergency channels, all the FRS channels, GMRS channels, um, hamps, you know, all my local repeaters, marine band, because I'm actually at the beach, so I can actually pick up boats and stuff, so. Alright, so I haven't run the antenna wire yet, that's probably going to be the hardest part, is getting the antenna wire to the back, but probably end up doing that tomorrow just because I'm kind of tired now, so. But pretty cool, look how small those radios are, it's crazy, huh? Same. So I have a ham, GMRS, FRS, Marine Band, Weather Band, and CB Radio. All right, cool. Oh, I forgot to mention. Um, I actually had these connected to. Um, uh, with that new antenna, it does, does make actually a difference. But that's that's no. I came back. I came back because um, I actually have these wired to direct hot. And so that means that they're always on. Um, and the reason why I do that is because I've actually had issues in the past where when I have it connected to the key start, it adds a lot of an interference to it. Drakey, here. Hey, sorry, it's my, it's, sorry, it's my kid. I thought he was running the street. Um, so sometimes if the key switch, I've actually had where the, the key thing fails, you know, the ignition switch. So that's actually why I have it uh, connected to direct hot. Is I can actually run this radio without the car running. I don't have to have it in ACC, it's just straight on the battery. So, alright. So there it is. Um, so I have the uh, antenna installed, and, or, well I have the antenna installed now so the ham radio works. And I'll go out and show you my solution to a ham radio. So now I can hear stuff with a weather radio. And I can go uh, switch channels. Oh, this is different than my other one here. Um, I can go doom, and I can go to like a. Uh, yeah, go to ham D3. Actually, what I want to do is go to. Um, this is just to represent that I can go to GMRS. So it sounds like somebody's talking on GMRS. I can also hit the repeaters, GM GMRS repeaters. <laughs> so 
car, my kid's in the car already. That filters, so when you key up, it doesn't go right back into the other radio. So it's actually, I kind of like the problem that I was having if I use a, uh, a splitter with two radios. So that's actually, that's DNRS, and I think it's a repeater. Uh, you know, one, one radio keys up, and then it feeds back into the uh, audio section of the other radio. So you can kind of see, I, I can just go between my, I already have these pre-programmed, so it's kind of like, weather set, all my weather channels. These are marine bands, so I can actually talk to boats and stuff. Uh, since I live near the beach, it's kind of cool, I can I can pick it up, so it's in the 160, uh, 160s. What? One I eight zero three while we it. Check it out, so that's actually a boat. So that's Marine Channel 12, and I just picked up a boat. Just gonna have your ETA Long Beach Sea Buoy. Cool. 1500, please have a ladder on the starboard side, one meter above water, boy doing arrival. Pretty cool, huh? That's a boat. Alright, let's go to the next channel, go back up, and go back. Honey. So pretty cool radio, yeah. You know I mean, quad band. Um, uh, that's a, that's actually one of the reasons why. Well, the main reason why I got it because it's so tiny, and then uh, it's. I mean, it picks up so many different types of technologies. You know, it picks up. Probably said this a million times, but it picks up FRS, GMRS, marine band, uh, all the hand bands, 20 for 170 centimeters and two meter. Uh, and also mirrors. Mirrors is a uh, open. It doesn't require any licensing. It's similar to two meter. So, but Marine Man is actually similar to two meter too as well. So, um, FM. So, all right. So I'll go out and show you the antenna install and how I can fold it down and and uh, do that. But that's just uh, I'm bringing it back so to give you guys a more of a scale of yeah. That's my holy stuff and near my hook about either my phone or my tablet right here. And uh, cool, so let me show you the antenna. Hi guys, there's the antenna. It's on this little uh, gutter mount. I can adjust the uh, height here. And the reason why I have this set up is so I can fold it down. It's going to fold down to this uh, gutter mount. This is designed for a uh, CB antenna, 102 inch whip. Quick, 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 dude! God, my kid is crazy. He keeps on the street. Okay, what are you doing? All right, fold this down real quick. It's folded down right there. It goes right into the right into the little mount right there. So, yep. So now I can get under that in the parking structure, and when I need to use it, I can just flip it right up. So cool.